Hi everyone, in this video I want to talk about a very interesting book. So this is a very old topology book. Let me pick it up so you can see the title. And it's Franz General Topology. This book is written by Wolfgang Franz, or Wolfgang Franz. Wolfgang uh, was a mathematician in Nazi Germany, so he was one of the bad guys. Um, this guy, I think he had at some point over 40 people working for him, and he was involved in like decrypting ciphers and stuff like that uh, for the Nazis. So he was like an enemy of you know the other powers, the U.S. and all the other Allied powers. So this guy was a hardcore mathematician. Um, he was a really good mathematician, and this is a really good book, actually. So you see here Wolfgang Franz, professor of mathematics, uh, University of Frankfurt. Uh, I, I don't know how to read that. Um, yeah, so I, originally it was written in German, I believe, and uh, this is a translation. So let's take a look inside it. So this is the table of contents. It says, Theory of General Topological Spaces. So... I have read various sections of this book, um, so it starts off with metric spaces, topological spaces, then it goes on to some more stuff, talks about the relative topology, and the way it's written, well you'll see when I show you, it's extremely dense, right? Uh, this is a really old school book. This is not written like the topology books of today. Here he goes on to Hausdorff spaces, regular spaces, normal spaces compactness, etc. I wonder if he knew Hausdorff, right? Because Hausdorff uh, was a mathematician, I believe, around the same time as this guy. So uh, Hausdorff uh, committed suicide, actually, uh, around the same time that Wolfgang was practicing mathematics uh, because he was going to be taken to a concentration camp. Really, really sad. Uh, really crazy stuff uh, during this time period uh, for people and for mathematics in general. This is the beginning. So he starts off not with sets, not with functions, but with metric spaces. So already, chapter one, as an axiomatic foundation, Wolfgang jumps into metric spaces. It says, in this section, we shall not yet treat general topological spaces, but rather, as a preliminary step, a somewhat simpler but important special class of spaces, the so-called metric spaces. This introduction serves primarily to prepare examples and to lead to the axioms of topological spaces to be given later so that they appear completely plausible to the reader. It is not until chapter 6 that the theory of metric spaces will be developed in detail for their own sake. So it talks about a metric structure, or briefly a metric on a set, X. Notice the variables, right? I think those are the German uh, letters is given to each pair x, y, an element of x, if there is assigned, etc., etc., etc. He goes through the definitions. He actually does give several examples of metric spaces. So he gives the Euclidean space as the first example, and he goes through the entire proof. Uh, he shows the cauchy schwartz inequality, and which can be assumed to be known to the reader, so it's a much more advanced book uh, than you would expect. Let's turn the page. Then right away, example B is Hilbert space H. So, I mean, this is page 10, right? Um, uh, this, this guy does not waste any time at all, right? This book uh, is extremely hardcore. I remember this example C. Uh, let X be the set of continuous real-valued functions, F of X, defined on this interval. And he defines this, this metric here, and you have to show it's a metric, etc. So... Really, really nice uh, read, right? All kinds of examples. And then finally, D, he gives another example. Further removed from intuition, uh, let X be the set of integers and P be a fixed prime number. He talks about the p adic value or the p-value of an integer, right? So I'm pretty sure this is a little bit non-standard uh, with respect to what you uh, see today. So here he gets into topological spaces and gives the general uh, definition of, to of a topology. Uh, but the way he does it uh, is he does it in terms of neighborhoods, right? He says, a topological structure, in brief, a topology, I'll just call that T, or tau, for a set X, is defined by assigning to each element P of X a system of subsets of X, the so-called neighborhoods U of P. So he's defining topology 
in terms of a neighborhood system, which is not always done. Um, I think one of the main reasons for owning this book is that it gives you a different perspective on topology. Right? It's written in a very different way than a lot of the newer books are written today. Um, and the way that Wolfgang explains things is just really elegant. And it's a little bit different, again, than what you would see in Monkery's book or, or, or a Mendelssohn book. Right? Um, the book uh, was written by a really, really smart dude a long time ago. So I think uh, we can learn a lot by reading this book. One of the downsides I found while reading this book was the number of typos. I think I found like five or six uh, typos. Uh, I spent about an hour reading it a few days ago, and I found like three typos. Uh, and you know, I've been reading it uh, for a few weeks now, like various sections, and I find little mistakes. Uh, if you know what you're doing or if you're really careful, uh, you'll find the typos, right? Just sit down with a pen and pencil and just carefully read through it. And just try to understand everything. And I think um, when you understand, you're going to feel good um, because it's just really clever. Some of the arguments that Wolfgang makes in the book, they're really, really beautiful. So again, the book is Topology, and it's written by Wolfgang Franz, a really old school book. Um, and it's a really elegant book. That's it.